the golden horde with 100k troops versus the ottomans with 200k hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the a to z challenge the challenge where player every nation you for in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order and this week ladies and gentlemen we're back with the nation of kazan kazan is a horde nation it's a part of the european ish hordes as i like to call them along with crimea the great horde Nogai, kazan and well uzbek is uzbek in there too i would say so myself kazan is super powerful one of the most powerful hordes at the start of the game we do start off with this 222 guy here which is unfortunate but Kazani ideas are simply excellent, man. We start off with plus two tolerance of heretics and minus 10% AE impact. We got plus 50% cavalry flanking ability as a finisher, plus 25% religious unity, minus 25% CCR, plus 20% calf combat, plus 25% national manpower, land leader maneuver, plus 15% fort defense, and plus 10% trade efficiency paired with the gold mine that we start off in Bashkir right here makes us one of the most powerful hordes at the start of the game. But what do we do as Kazan? Well, some of you may know that I'm not that much of a horde enjoyer, but since we don't get to play hordes that often, I thought to myself, why not enjoy myself, man? So that's why for today's campaign, I that's what i'm literally gonna do i'm gonna enjoy myself i'm gonna blob out try and conquer as much as possible and uh no strict goals but you know we always gotta have a goal for a to z so why not um i don't know primary goal form the golden horde secondary goal try to become the number one great power in the world but yeah i'm gonna take it easy blob out you know just chill a bit man i need a strong start we haven't had one in a while and before we begin if you enjoy this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content and want to see more make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of it Let's jump in as Kazan. All right, all right, here we are as Kazan. What do we need to form the Golden Horde? Right, a lot of provinces from Muscovy, that's right. I think it is the easiest to form it as them, but I won't be rushing it or anything like that. I'll get there when I get there. There we go, title of Khalifa. Uh, let's go ahead and do the estate stuff. It's pretty much only one estate, and I am going to give the tribes larger tribal hosts for now, and I want to give this to them later when we have more army tradition. Sell title, seize land, you know what it is. Uh, we've rivaled the Great Horde and uh, Nogai. I know I did it in reverse order. Can we ally anyone right off the bat? I do have a Diplorev guy. Let's check and see ideally i'd ally crimea and uzbek the exact nations that are available to me i haven't even opened up this menu which i always do before the start of the game let's royal mary crimea just like that i actually am gonna get three advisors right off the bat let's get this tax guy and let's get this discipline guy why not force limit is 23 let me merge my armies over here activate encourage dev in bashkiria immediately do we start off with feudalism we don't but it should spread from muscovy i don't think i'm gonna be deving that uh, all right we should have the cb on all of these guys missions not too important at this rate and uh yeah let me turn off my fort chill for maybe like a year and then we'll see who we can hit actually no i'll uh, keep my fort up all right so i was gonna declare a no guy man but uh crimea won't help me and they're like the Ajam and Chagatai, which is actually not very good chagatai has yorkand as well can't declare on the great horde either because they're allied to the timurids what a wonderful start in this uh game that i thought was gonna be chill but we can declare on someone else not something i wanted to do but i do think we can win uh let's declare on muscovy man they're in this war with novgorod sure they are gonna end it soon but uh me crimea and uzbek can easily beat them uh if we fight them in the steps right here so not an ideal first war but definitely winnable Right, uh, I'm not following my own guide for Kazan right here. We need the free company to siege. <laughs> War is going really well, surprisingly. They ended their war with Novgorod. We even beat them up once uh, in uh, Anan steppe province. We fought them on this fort right here. We won that. Uh, Moscow is falling pretty quickly. I got a two siege guy on that. Way easier than I thought it would be. Way easier. Uh, their army is still pretty massive. Let's hope they don't come and fight me in Moscow. They've pushed in over here, but luckily they're not heading... Or, or oh, they are heading towards me. I, I thought they were going towards Uzbek, but we should still be good here, man. Uh, I think I'm going to take Mojaisk right here in Yaroslavl, and then we're going to peace out. Crimea got pieced out. Oh, that's where their other army was. But this is good. More war score for me, I think. And uh, I think what's really winning us this war is this two siege guy, man, which is actually my ruler. Uh, the other guy has a one siege as well. Maybe I should take him over here to help out Uzbek. Yeah. All right. I think we should dip here before they unoccupy Nizhny Novgorod. They're a tech three. I'm a tech three as well this guy's a one shock my guy right here is a one shock that guy over there is a three shock though i think we're gonna go fight them in nizhny nagura all right this army's right here hopefully uzbek uh, jumps in from the south i'm gonna put the three shock guy in charge there it is woods man but we should be able to beat them i think oh yeah easy the more we decimate muscovy in this first war the easier it's gonna be later and after i beat them up in uzbek's capital this war is done all right so this is my peace deal i'm gonna take uh kasimov vladimir suzdal and yaroslavl we need uh this one this one 
one. We need all three of those provinces to reform the Golden Horde. I'm also going to take this to connect the land and Nizhny Novgorod because it's a fort. In the next war, we'll take Moscow and they should own Tver by then. So we'll take Tver as well. And then we need to fight Ryazan for Ryazan. So that's it for now. I'm also going to get war reps from them and all their money. I don't care about the long truce. And that's our first war with Muscovy, surprisingly done. All right. Uh, we need to find a way to fight Nogai without fighting one of these two. Actually, Ajama is pretty close to not joining. Oh, and there's feudalism. Nice. Of course, let's not forget about the best part by for playing as a horde raising. That's right, baby. And I know we got lots of forts now, but I'm going to keep all of them until we beat Muscovy again. Lithuania by themselves just declared on Muscovy. Tier 2 cover form time. Let's go for martial society. All right. Uzbek has finally chilled enough to where they would help me versus Nogai and Ajam still wouldn't help Nogai. So let's go ahead and declare a conquest for Buzuluk right there. Boom. There we go. Chagatai is going to be annoying, but I thought I just called them in though. Didn't I just call them in? Either way, doesn't matter too much. Let's go beat up Nogai. Chagatai is also fighting who? Oh, the Timurid vassals declared on them. Oh, no, they didn't. I thought we could fight the Great Horde. Uh, maybe they're willing to peace out. They're not. All right. War with Nogai is done. We knocked out Chagatai. And what I'm going to do with Nogai right here is uh, actually surround them so no one else can fight them. I'll take half now. I'll take half later. Uh, let's get all of their money as well. Just like that. And that's our second war done. All right, the Great Horde has obviously got to be our next target. Oh, the Timurids wouldn't join them right now. But Uzbek would. I wonder, can I curry enough favors with Uzbek to make them end that alliance? I think I can. Either way, let me uh, pour all of this up and then we'll see what we'll do. All right, Bashgird is up to 10. We can turn this off. All right, I just noticed that Riazan and Tver are only allied to each other, whereas previously Lithuania was also allied to Riazan and they were guaranteed by the Great Horde. That's not the case anymore. So I am going to declare on Riazan and Kobolizha and Tver. We can vassalize them and annex them later. We do need this one province right here and we'll nab it quicker than Muscovy. So let's go ahead and get this. This should be extremely easy as long as we can uh, move to Tver, of course. Earlier, I did also dev up Kazan up to 30 dev. I don't know if I'll push it more for the Renaissance, man. You know, it is spreading kind of slowly I guess we'll see let's try and link up with someone in Europe maybe is that a possibility the link with Poland they don't have Lithuania you know these are definite possibilities all right I've beaten them up they've occupied me a bit but let's see if they'll accept Riaz on being full annexed okay they will accept that and uh Tver becoming my vassal oh they'll accept that as well easy this is a really nice start man uh yeah definitely above average for me I know some players would probably own all of this by now, but hey, I'm not some players. I'm all players. But apparently now we've subjugated Riazan and we gain permaclaims on that. That's pretty nice. I think I'm going to get rid of this guy. I did dev up a bit for the Renaissance a little bit more. Yeah, it's at 12, 12, 11 now. I got 30 army tradition now, so I can give these guys that. First idea group time. I think I am going to open up with Horde. Let's focus up on Mill. Still no luck in declaring on the Great Horde. I might just uh, do this later and fight Muscovy again for my third war. It was a good idea to disinherit that first guy. Truce with Muscovy is up. They're also fighting Denmark right now. So let's go ahead and declare uh, Tribal Conquest, call in Uzbek. And I accidentally declared by pressing C, even though I didn't have an available diplomat. Oh, wait, there's an exploit right there. Uh, if you want to declare on some day, some specific day, but don't have a diplomat, just... Or no, wait, I guess he was back. I don't know. Let's fight Moscow. Let's go for the aggressive expansion. You may have unseized Moscow, but now you're in steps. And let's see this glorious battle in action. Mmm, 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 mmm. Nice. And just like that, we've beaten up Muscovy. Good thing Sweden actually left Moscow because they did start sieging and I was like, no, that's my war goal, dog. Or actually, no, show superiority is my war goal. But either way, I do need Moscow to form, uh, what's it called, the Golden Horde. So what we want to take here is obviously Moscow. And after that, it doesn't really matter too much. I'm actually going to do this right here so no one pushes into Muscovy further. And then let's take that as well. Or no, uh, I'm going to get war reps, I think. Yeah, and some money. There we go. All right, nice second war versus Muscovy, man. Now all we need to form the Golden Horde is some provinces from Uzbek and Crimea. Any progress here? Nope. But yeah, I'm satisfied. Yeah, let's make Uzbek. Uh, where is it? Break their alliance with the Great Horde. Timurids are fighting Delhi uh, and Bengal right now. This may be a good opportunity, man. They might be pretty close to not joining here. And we can take the Great Horde, the Circassian Kerman, on by ourselves easily. But there's no way you can fight Timurids and their boys. Tier 3 Gov Reform, I'm gonna go for the Religious Unity. Well, uh, I have nothing to do and I didn't notice my truce with Noga as uptime is flying pretty quickly here. Let's go ahead and full annex them. They're only allied to Shirvan. And the war with Nogai is done, and we can go ahead and fall annex them. Sweet. And we can also take our second idea group, which is going to be Humanist. That's right. Not making the same mistake twice, boys. 
I can learn too. Dude, these guys are always fighting someone, man. They just got done fighting Chagatai. This is a pretty big war. If they don't get tired in this one, I don't know when they're gonna get tired. But they're so aggressive, man. Very aggressive Timurids. Please just don't help the Great Horde. What you know about 161% religious unity? <laughs> so the Timurids have annexed all but uh, Khorasan. Are they weaker like this or are they stronger? They don't have Delhi. They can't form the Mughals yet. They're really strong, man. Ugh. I did not need this in this game. I can't beat these guys by myself. And Uzbek won't help. All right, man, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, they are slightly weaker now that they've annexed their vassals, right? And they would even like me if I didn't rival them. But um, we got to fight these guys. I just got plus one combat bonus in Terrain of Capital. I am a Miltech ahead, and I already got some military bonuses, or maybe I don't. But my point is we can crush them in the steps. So what I'm thinking is we blitz the Great Horde, full siege them, and then just wait for the Timurids over in these provinces is right here i did also just get cannons uh it has to be done that's pretty much it hopefully caraman and the other guys won't get too involved but i guess we'll have to see i wouldn't declare this if i didn't think i can win so let's go for astrakhan dude i'm getting so many dubs and this was a stack wipe right here man it, it just happened in this province yo all right uh they're not things are not going exactly to plan i've been occupied way more than i thought i'd be but this is super easy man we can do this definitely circassia is already out there we go uh war ups money Oh, they're a vassal. I thought they were a tributary. They're out of manpower, too. All right, the Timurids are done. Their alliance with the Great Horde has already been broken because Crimea declared on them as well, and they declined the call to arms. So what I'm going to do is take war reps and all of their money. Uh, Well, that is almost all of their money. I'm really satisfied with that. All right, take that, Timurids. At least now I know I can beat them. But uh, yeah, and let's go ahead and peace out the Great Horde. What I'm going to do is this right here so no one else fights them. Uh, That's about half of them, right? Yeah, I'll also take one more province and let's get, uh, well, I was gonna get money, but no. <laughs> and I know I gotta get this one to form the Golden Horde. Like I said, I'm not in a rush, boy. Meanwhile, another problem has risen up. Uh, this happened earlier. Crimea became a tributary of the Ottomans, but, uh, I was like, all right, no big deal. I'll just fight some Crimean ally, which was, um... Uzbek, I think, or the Great Horde, but they don't have any more allies. It's just me. So there's no way to fight Crimea without fighting the Ottomans, unless they get involved in some very stupid war. I don't know. Just broke my alliance with Uzbek. All right, Muscovy just got beaten up by Denmark again. Uh, time for me to go do my thing as well. And Muscovy is done. I white pieced a uh, perm. Let's see what we can take from them. Maybe this, so we can block off nations from blobbing over there. And yeah, this time I'm taking as much as I can. Uh, sure, I'll do that. Or this? Yeah, let's do this. Sweet, let's finally annex fair. All right, so my truce with Uzbek is up and I can finally go ahead and fight them and I'll also reset my truce with the Great Horde. Uh, let's declare for their capital, Chimgitura. There it is. Tier 3 got reform time. Let's get some cheaper cores. I mean, 4. Tier 4. All right, war with Uzbek is up. Uh, Oirat declare on them too, but I don't think it's a big deal. Let's focus on the provinces we need for the Golden Horde, which are these two right here. So let me take that and that. And after this, we'll pretty much do whatever we want, which is this apparently. Hmm, should I reach Oirat? so I can fight them. Ah, this is good enough for now. I can ally the Ottomans now after I rule married them. They might call me into this where they're involved, but no big deal. I wonder if I can declare on... Well, now they wouldn't accept because we're allied, but I got a truce because I just broke my alliance. All right, maybe we'll find the same situation later. All right, here's the workaround. Um, obviously, I can't declare on Crimea because I'm allied to the Ottomans, right? But because I broke my alliance with Crimea, they've allied Ghazi Kumuk. Now, this is annoying because the Ottomans are allied with Ghazi Kumuk as well, but I can create favors with these guys, make them break their alliance with Ghazi Kumuk for 50 favors, then declare on them, and then take the necessary provinces that i need for the golden horde from crimea chugging along let's find nizhny novgorod that popped out earlier can i co belligerent perm yes i can just annexed tver and this war is done nice more land i always love more land boys that's horde and human is done what's the policy with these unrest and prestige sure i'll take that all right we should have no rebel trouble man <laughs> bruh here's another workaround <laughs> circassia is a tributary of uh, circassia is a vassal of crimea i can just fight them and then the Ottomans won't come in. I don't know. Truce with Crimea actually just expired. Let's go ahead and try that. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can't. It still uh, connects all the way back to the Ottomans. So the Ghazi Kumuk plan, it is. Truce with the Great Horde is up. Let's go ahead and take uh, provinces. Uh... Akkuyun was in this war, but they just disappeared. How did they disappear? The Ottomans aren't even from a claim. Yeah, they haven't courted up yet. Yeah, they just took it from them. All right. But the Great Horde is done. That's awesome. Sweet. Uh, I haven't paid a single drop of attention to Agrissa expansion this campaign. But enough about A. Let's not pay attention to that once again, because we are once again going to declare on Muscovy. Our shoes is up. Yes. 
I'm chilling this campaign, man. Ooh. And just like that, Muscovy actually doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> All right, bye bye now. Now, colonialism has spawned. I can insta spawn it with the amount of points I have, I think. Where can we dev it, man? Steps. Do we have that um, privilege for step dev discounts, or is that only for the Cossacks? Yeah, that's only for the Cossacks. Moscow might be a nice place to, you know, dev it. Let's activate Encourage right there. That should be a bit cheaper, yeah. There we go, now it's at 15 dev. We can also expand Administration. And boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. There it is. Of course, we're too huge to embrace it right away. I just noticed Yaroslavl and Novgorod seem to be alive. We finally united the Tatars. Nice. And yeah, this is done too. Let's go ahead and take five provinces. Nice. The Tatar yoke? I'll take that. All right, choose with Uzbek is up yet again. Their province war score cost is 154. I just checked, so we can't full annex them, but uh, it's no big deal. Let's declare for Sibir. All right, Uzbek is ready to peace out. I'm going to try and take border provinces here so no one else eats them up. And is that possible? Uh, not really. Well, let's try and do something like this. And you know, I see all the complaints about the border gore. I mean, I feel them. Uh, and that's just what happens when you play a horde. It's, it's just border gore, man. What can I say? That's the way you gotta play. It's not called snaking, boys. It's called octopusing. That's the new term. You know, you gotta push in various directions. Whereas snaking implies, uh, well, you're only going in one. So, uh... That's what's up. All right, channeling my inner min-maxing player right here. So Mansur, uh, 11 times 2, that's 22% war score, uh, plus 13, plus 13, there we go, plus 15, plus 15, there we go, and plus 21, plus 21, that's 120. We're actually not going to be able to take the two provinces we need to form uh, the Golden Horde because we won't be able to co in Crimea. Shun popped out of Ming, maybe they won't defend Oirat? Oh, they're not even a tributor anymore, and that's good enough for me dog let's declare for pega whatever let's see it right here there it is pegia orda very easy and very fun war versus where at uh moving you know i was moving a front line like at a hearts of iron or something not that i've ever played it but uh yeah let's take stuff from oirat as well man i'm gonna do something like this i don't know these are pretty cheap provinces i guess let's not get that border gory i guess i'm gonna do something like that nice all right i'm over points i uh deft some more provinces and now i can embrace colonialism i took out loans as well oh uh, yeah now we can take Heck, third idea group time. I'm gonna go quality just like that. Boom, boom. And now I can keep raising, right? <laughs> A lot of these provinces I can't raise because, well, obviously they were already raised by Oirat. I mean, that's some cheap cores. <laughs> Plus 55% cap combat. That's not bad at all. I've literally had a no rebels since we wrapped up uh, both Horde and Humanist. I love it. Of course, we are going to stay as a tribal nation and raising power gain. Barbaric despoilers or unified Horde identity. Barbaric despoilers, baby. Boom. All right now I'm going to ask the Ottomans to break their alliance with Gazikumuk. They will accept. Nice. All right, time to declare on these guys. Let's see what we can take from Crimea, man. Obviously, we can't co-belligerent them. Yeah, and what I need is this province right here, Mansur and Crimea, but I can't take Crimea, man. Let's peace out like this. Hope they stay allied. If uh, they re ally the Ottomans, I'll just do the same thing. But I can't do that right now. Fine, let's keep going. And I don't want a separate piece Crimea because I want to have uh, the same truce with Crimea and with Gazikumuk. So uh, that's it. All right, one more province needed to form the Golden Horde is this one right here. We are going to have to wait, well, at least uh, 13 years. Puskov is an OPM that's ally less. It's for me. Oh, I'm way over Gov Cap. <laughs> Without raising, we'd probably be the number one great power right now. But yeah, things are looking good. Has Gazikumuk reality the Ottomans? No, but yeah, we, I think we can do the same when our truce is up. Since we're maxed out at uh, government reforms, I'm not going into a monarchy or a republic. I'm just going to keep spending this for Gov Cap. I've just noticed that some Timurid allies won't help them out. Well, <laughs> you know what that means. Quality is finished, just as I started focusing on milk. I'm bombing forts left and right here. Extremely easy war, man. An annoying because they're big, but extremely easy. I beat them up so hard. All right, I'm going to take all this stuff right here, because uh, even though it's stupid provinces, because I want the borders to look a little nicer. And uh, you know what? Let's do something like that. Sweet. War score cost versus other religions. Yeah, truce with Uzbek is up as well. And I think Uzbek is done. There we go. They are out of the map as well. We have subjugated the Kazakhs. I can't believe we're still not the Golden Horde. <laughs> I formed them in like 20 years. 
I guess that's just the luck we had this campaign, huh? Yeah, let's wait for the true Son Gazikumu. After that, we'll be done. All right, I've acquired 50 favors with the Ottomans again. I'm going to make them uh, break their alliance with Gazikumu again. And now I'm going to declare on Gazikumu again to take the province of Crimea itself. And this is done. So let's take that most importantly. And then I'm just going to do this. Sure. And with that, we've also become an empire. Yes, we are a Kaganate. Hey, we can form the Golden Horde. There we go. Yes, please. New traditions and ambitions. Not too different from Kazan, but real powerful as well. We start off with plus 25% national manpower. Institution spread and land maintenance discount. Horde unity. CCR minus 25% once again. Plus 20% calf combat. We got provincial trade power, manpower recovery speed, dev discount, and tolerance of heathens. Super, super powerful. We still got the same missions though. Timurids from the Mughals. I'm going to go ahead and fight Denmark. I don't have any boats. All right, let's see if I still got it. So what we want to do is split these guys right here into 1k stacks all the way just like that. So we have basically 48 stacks from a 48k army. And uh, then you just click around and click V as well. And then you just take them around to all of these provinces just like that. Yep, I still got it. Well, I think we've shown enough superiority for one day. Let's go ahead and take Danish Russia right here. Yeah. Oh, Ottomans versus Mughals, baby. All right, let me set provinces of interest. All right, now I'll accept... Because I have such insane monarch point generation, I can just bomb literally every fort. That's what I've been doing for the past, like, 50 years, man. I bomb literally every fort. It's done. Did I get anything? Let's check in this map. I did get something. They, yeah, they took stuff in Arabia. I got, like, these four provinces. Not bad. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, man. Uh, obviously, the only nation we need to catch up to is the Ottomans and uh, Spain. So I am going to try and do that. We're kind of running out of time here, but I will give you boys one final war. The Golden Horde with 100k troops versus the Ottomans with 200k. All right, so what I'm going to do right here is actually take out a bunch of loans so we can uh, fortify our uh, provinces right here in this region. There we go. I'm going to do stuff like that. Yeah, there we go. The Ottomans shouldn't be able to enter that. Let's put up a second line of defense over here, just like that, maybe. Yeah, maybe right there, right there, right there. Sure, that's the line of defense. We'll put down one right there as well. Let's take out some more loans. Put a fort in Crimea over there. Over there, let's take out some more loans. I will make money shortly. And let's put a foot right there and right there and right there. All right, my plan is to funnel these guys uh, this way and this way and then fight them in the steps right here. Their uh, units are better, but I think this KF combat should be able to beat them in the steps. I can actually join the League Wars. <laughs> the truce with the Ottomans has expired, so let's get ready to rumble and let's declare on the Ottomans that have innovative quantity and exploration ideas all filled out. All right, so I'm editing this video right now and I love how I just glossed over the fact and totally didn't register in my head that the Ottomans have taken exploration ideas and they filled them out. I just mentioned it like it's... <laughs> Like, it's whatever. I don't believe it, man. Ottomans with exploration, that's that's not something you see every day. 200,000 troops with 200,000 manpower in reserve, along with 29% professionalism, which means they can slack in a bunch. Meanwhile, I have Horde, Humanist, and Quality all filled out, and 130,000 troops with 140,000 in reserve. Is this the war to end all wars? No, it's only 1555, or 56, I should say. Let's show superiority. So they are coming from this side as well. They did get access through the Mughals. And they actually can't go like this. Hmm. All right, let's move there. Siege ability, insane as always. All right, let's check out this battle and see exactly where we're at. Oh. Well, that was easy. Caught them in the Mughals' mountains. I'm not doing too well here, but I won. Finally, we have taking war score. I'm going for Constantinople over on this side. Radical reforms, huh? You know what? For the first time, I'm not going to take both of them. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get an easy dub over in uh, Ackerman or whatever it's called. There we go. There we go. Nice. Let's catch this battle in the Ottomans' capital in Constantinople. I didn't have shock pips, so that's why I initially lost soldiers, but easy. And you know what? I think I've proved my point, obviously, since we have 84% war score, man. This was a war just to flex and just, to, you know, uh, make some entertainment for you guys. I didn't actually need to fight these guys, but you know what? We've beaten the Ottomans. We are the most powerful nation in the world. Sure, they may have like, um, what's it, 600 more dev than us, but 
listen, I can't be bothered to catch up. Like I said, I'm here to have fun today. And I had fun. So my own goal accomplished. I formed the Golden Horde. Primary goal accomplished. Secondary goal failed. I didn't become the most powerful nation in the world. Boo hoo. Who cares? I guess some of you. And I care a little bit too. But let's see what we can take from the Ottomans here, man. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. There we go. Constantinople is mine. And um, that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, look at me raising about to hit the points cap. Oh, yeah, that feels so good. Burning all of this down. Oh, no, we're at max mill. I'm still going to raise again. Uh, how did this go over to QQ? <laughs> Wait, I didn't take Theodoro. All right, then. But yeah, there you go, man. We start off as the nation of Kazan, located in uh, some of these provinces right here. And the goal for today's video was to form the Golden Horde and to become the number one great power in the world. Of course, my own personal goal was to have fun and to have a chill and relaxing campaign because, well, there have been so many painful campaigns these past couple of videos. But it started out weird, man. Our first war was with Muscovy, not something I expected. Then we got bogged down with alliances here, but we managed to crush Muscovy. We managed to crush these guys over here, expanded over here in these nations as well, fought the Timurids and the Mughals a couple of times and even fought Denmark and finally the Ottomans at the end and we even got Constantinople. Of course I ran out of time here basically we've been playing for quite a while but obviously I could get the number one spot on the great powers list. Now you could count that as a failure you can count it as a success that didn't ever happen you know what it's up to you. But overall a super super fun campaign man we were so powerful I was stacked on points the entirety of the campaign not making that much money right now of course because of all the forts and because we're over force limit but the horde took humanist took quality after these two never saw a single rebel and overall man i uh achieved my personal goal of having a fun and relaxing campaign and i think this might even be the most we've ever blobbed out in a to z the biggest nation we've ever created uh we've probably reached a thousand dev a couple of times not sure but you know as far as the name on the map goes i don't think we've ever had a bigger nation in a to z so i'm super super happy with this and uh i'm glad to have played a horde for once so Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Kazan in A to Z is uh, undefined. You know, I did form the Golden Horde, but I didn't become a great power. But I accomplished my personal goal of having fun, even though I always have fun. I mean, chill fun. So it's up to you to decide whether we won or we failed. And that has been Kazan in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel link is in the description if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of it and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video